Let's now take a look at the story. How will the GST provide a booster shot to the economy? And how do states stand to benefit by it? Here's a ready reckoner on the GST bill. The GST bill seeks to amend the constitution to enable parliament and state legislatures to frame laws on imposition of the goods and services tax. It also creates a GST council which includes representatives from the centre and all states to make recommendations on the implementation of GST. The GST is an indirect tax system that would subsume various central and state indirect taxes and apply on the supply of goods and services. To begin with, under the GST regime, there will be a dual GST structure, central GST and state GST and the rates will be decided by the GST Council. At the central level, GST will subsume sales tax, excise tax and service tax and at the state level, it will replace VAT, entertainment tax, entry tax and sales tax. The amended GST bill proposes compensation to states for any loss of revenue from the implementation of GST for a period of five years. GST will not be imposed on all commodities. The bill proposes that alcoholic liquor for human consumption be exempt from GST and GST be levied on petroleum products at a later date. Not just NDA ruled states but also Congress ruled Kerala have voiced support for GST besides SP, JDU, Trinamool Congress and BJD. Once it is passed by the Rajya Sabha, the GST bill will need to be passed by at least 15 states since it is a constitution amendment bill. Bureau Report, DD News.